so we are in the online money making era and the content creation era and this means that if you want to earn in the us dollars you need to have a us bank account and this website here called gigpay offers to create all these kind of accounts for you so this website is similar to grey.co and this video is basically an overview of this um, website called GeekPay. So I'm going to show you how the website works and what I think about this website, if you should use it or not. And the first thing is to actually create an account. So you need to be a Nigerian to create an account. And if you create an account, you need to like do some kind of KYC or verification to verify that you are a human being. And once you've done that, you can now come to an interface like this. And the first thing about this app or this website is the interface. It's just there. It's, it's not really exciting, but that's my thing. So if you come here, you have, they give you the Nigerian, the Nigerian bank account. You can request for an Euro bank account. You can request for a great British pound um, account and you can equally request for a us dollar account so it appears that i do not have a us dollar account i used to have one but i don't really know what happened anymore so also this website allows you to generate invoices so you can generate an invoice and send to somebody and then they can pay you and to do that you can just come here click on create new invoice and then you can basically just write what the invoice is about include the money and all of that and they, just, they can just pay you for that so that might just be a very important feature for you if you if you need something like that so the other thing is cards they equally give you virtual cards and sometimes early this year or during the time when the dollars um crashed to the naira to around 1000 naira GeekPay sends me emails telling me that I could actually create a virtual dollar card for just one dollar but I did not take that chance so let's see how much they would charge us to create dollar card these days so if I come here I click on create a new card and this is basically how you can create cards of um create dollar virtual cards inside of GeekPay so they are one of these guys who would give you virtual cards that you can use for your online transactions so if you come here, you click on virtual cards. So I want to see how much they will charge us. So let's just put a nickname here. So I'm going to write good Noel here. And then I click on continue. So it says the limit type monthly, weekly. I don't really know what that means. So let's say the spending limit it says is um, the minimum, the maximum card limit monthly is 3,500. Okay. So let's continue. So it says we have to select payment wallet. So I have just, um, uh -huh, yeah, I used to have a US dollar account. So let's say I have um, Naira here. And it says the amount I can fund is $5. All right. But it doesn't tell me, okay, it does right here. It says the card creation fee is $3. Okay. And then the equivalent is 4,890 Naira. All right. So and i can basically click on create but as you can see i do not have enough money here so i'm not going to create that so um if you wanted to this is basically how you create it and your card will be created i already have a virtual card that i use so i don't need to create this one but again that's how you create the card and these people they allow you to do it and the good thing with this um, website is just like is that just like gray you can send naira and you can convert it to us dollars um, euros and all of that so if you come here this is where you find your wallets and from your wallet you can convert funds and then you can send money so right here i have the us bank account and you can see the name here they give you a wells fargo bank account this is the account number it gives you routing you can see all the details if you click on view details here and you can see all your expenses like how much you received how much you spent and all of that so so far i've only received just naira right here and let's say i wanted to convert money from let's say naira to dollars or dollar to naira or even send it i can come here click on send money and i can select the method i want to use to send so this can be um 
a naira or a dollar account so i already set this account before now or i already used them before now to transact so i can use my first bank and what happens here is if i send dollars because this is a naira account it's going to convert it to naira and then send it to my naira account so i i currently do not have dollars here so i cannot carry out this transaction but this is how you do it all right so if you wanted to switch the accounts you can click on that and then you can switch to either the euros the british pound or the nigerian naira so if i wanted to use the nigerian naira i can just click on send money to bank transfers i can select this bank and then i can just put the amount i don't know why it still gives me this dollar right here it doesn't have to but i can just switch the currency again to naira and i can let's say i wanted to withdraw 400 naira i can just click on continue and that would be done but again i don't want to withdraw that money i'm just leaving it there so if i wanted to convert fund let's say naira to dollar i can come here click on the convert funds here and i can select how much i want to convert so let's say we are converting to the us dollars so you can let's say this is the rates but let's say we want to do one dollars and see how much they charge us currently they are charging us one dollar for 1630 naira again i do not have sufficient money here so i cannot carry out this transaction so if you go to the dashboard if you scroll down you see the exchange rate for the day i really like this because they just keep it simple and you can see and know what you are doing so they buy euros buying euros simply means you have euros you want to swap it to naira this is the exchange rate you are going to use but if you wanted to swap your naira to euros that means they are selling to you this is the exchange rate you are going to use if you want to swap dollars you want to swap it to naira they are going to do it as 1580 if you want to buy from them they are going to sell to you at 1630 which is uh, a lot all right so i think that's basically all for this um this website called Geekspace. so let's just look at the fees that you incur if you wanted to receive let's say the us dollars or receive money so let me come back to my wallet again and then let's say i want to receive money from um this bank from to this bank so let's say i come here i click on view details i should be able to see all the fees right here so it doesn't really show me any fees right here which can be confusing and um that's basically that for geek pay so i don't really like the interface i don't it's it's just harder to use them when you compare it to gray but overall i think they are a fine platform they are i think in my opinion the direct or the closest to gray but i would basically prefer gray.co but this is basically how you can do it i hope this video it's not an outright endorsement of gray i hope it's not this is just an overview of this platform and this is how you can use it and most importantly i hope this video helps you if it does please like the video subscribe and if you have questions you can ask me in the comment section my name is good and i will see you in my next videos bye bye